Merry Christmas, everybody. This is Gregory of Gregory and Chilena. Sixteen years ago, I was given a gift of Jesus coming in my life, and he talks through me, and he's a direct link into my mind and who I and what I am. He comes through, and we've been working on a book and about his life and of his family, Mary and Mary Magdalene and Joseph. Jesus wants to come through and speak now. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. And even though this is not my birthday, I am very glad you celebrate my birthday. It is so amazing the millions upon millions of you that believe and try to do the good for your fellow man and listen and read about my life. It is not all there in the Bible, but parts of it are. The one thing that they left out so dearly that I tried to teach everybody back then, and so did Mary Magdalene, my wife, was that we are all parts of God, sons and daughters of God, that we are all one together, that we are a family of human beings on this planet with the same DNA, no matter if we switched our outside colors like you switch a coat, and our brains, we are all the same and one. And we are all part of the God source. For God created us in a variety of many things. It is a dream of mine to see more peace in this world than what is happening. I know more people are looking to work for peace. And you also take care of your home for the environment because the earth is your home and the love to realize that you really are brothers and sisters. I was watching through Gregory's eyes today on CNN channel, and I saw the headline saying so many killed here and so many killed there. And my dream would be an eternal peace for everyone of getting along and fairness and equal rights for all males and females and all colors and cultures. And we live together because we have truly so much that we can do and learn from each other. From the natives and, and uh, Indians down in South America and Africa and these places that are still backwards. But are they really so backwards? They leave, live in more peace than you do nowadays in this modern world with all your taxes and all your health. And sometimes God is forgotten. And the true reason you're on this planet is to learn to grow and accept and love one another. Or at least accept them and realize that they are your equal in this life. Shalina and I, well, Gregory, have been trying to teach, as I speak to Gregory quite often to people, and they don't realize that I come through as we just meet people and talk. But the main thing is we always try and instill is we need love and peace because love is much stronger than hate and killing and illness and harm. And God gave us this ability. And I know that if you open your hearts, it is easy to accept one another. This is not a difficult thing to do. You just have to say, I am going to start. I'm going to accept what I haven't been able to accept before. My love for the humanity is there for all of you. I want to bless you all, and God bless you, and thank you for believing in me, and Mary, and my mother, um, Mother Mary. We are all connected to the God source, each and every one of us. And you do not have to listen to a pastor or a minister or a priest that says you can only come to God through them, for they are false liars. But there's many good ones. Just know in your heart that you are all part of God. Have a Merry Christmas and enjoy. And I believe in Santa Claus, because Santa Claus is truly love, and he's peace, and he's giving to one another and accepting. God bless you all.
Jesus of Nazareth, through Gregory 